without sitting down in front of the master, how can we experience him? Unless and until we experience him, how can we share him with others? Good morning, family and friends. Today, we celebrate the memorial of Mary and Martha. Martha and Mary. Imagine 14 hungry men coming to your house, including Jesus, told us disciples, and Lazarus, yeah? And Martha is anxious. I'm sure any of you will be anxious. Yeah, you have to definitely serve them, feed them. They are coming from a long distance. And Jesus tells Mary, Mary has chosen the better part. And Martha, you are anxious and worried about so many things. Why did he say that, first of all? I think Jesus is more worried about his own life. He is on his way to Jerusalem. And as we know, Jerusalem is a place where he will be persecuted and crucified and resurrected. So he wants to share them something what is going on deep down in his gut feelings, what he's going going through. Rather than he's not worried about much eating and drinking and so on with them or celebrating, he wants to share what's going on within him. Mary sat down and listened to him. Hospitality, both these personalities we know represents active and contemplative ministry in the church. Both are vital, both are important. You know, it's like two sides of one coin, same coin, both active ministry and contemplative ministry. Without sitting down in front of the master, how can we experience it? Unless and until we experience him, how can we share him with others? If we have Jesus, then only we can give it to others. We have to receive the power from Jesus and that power, that resources which is filled within us has to outflow through our ministry. That's the importance of both Martha and Mary. And I have seen many people, you know, when, and especially working in a parish, people are, you know, so interested in working for social justice. And from then I always ask them, you give some time to sit down in front of Jesus, receive power from him. My own personal life, I can say, and uh, I like, um, I like to work. I'm a workaholic. You know, do things. Do, do, do. It's not easy for me to sit down. I have to work hard and sit down in front of the Lord to receive power from Him. Let us reflect upon this both active and contemplative ministry of the church as well as how this helped in our own personal life. Being in front of the Lord, serene and calm, receiving power from Him, Filling our hearts with His love, His peace, and His joy. Let that joy outflow through our ministry, by our service, our hospitality. Mary and Martha may intercede for us. Amen. <laughs>